Good evening. Good evening, Jerusalem. Uh, family members and friends, I'm grateful to be uh, on tonight and uh, thankful for this uh, Wednesday. Uh, pray God's blessings on uh, all of you. And uh, <clears throat> there's a couple announcements uh, as we uh, are here tonight. And as you pray for me, uh, let's pray for our children as they prepare to go back to school uh, in accordance with that our educators in our church we have teachers and <coughs> uh, school workers and I uh, want to pray for uh, all of them as well I think I saw Sherilyn Smith earlier today uh, Tara Smith um, Lord have mercy I know I'm gonna forget somebody Brianna Gallion uh, Denise Willis uh, April Smith Melvin Smith uh, Tangie Thomas, uh, Rosa Grant. Uh, we have a number of people uh, who are working in the school system, and if I forgot to call your name, just uh, uh, forgive me and people who work with uh, children. And so we want to pray for uh, pray for th them as well as our, our uh, children. Uh, remember next Thursday, August 18th, is our fulfillment hour meeting, not tomorrow night, August 18th, Thursday, August 18th. Um, <coughs> uh, this coming uh, first Sunday in September, uh, we will take ministry pictures. Uh, we'll be giving further clarity with that on Sunday morning, but ministry pictures for our upcoming uh, souvenir journal for our church anniversary. Uh, remember, UCOM is still collecting non-perishable food items. Pantries are low due to increased volume of people needing help. Remember to <coughs> pray for those who are... Uh, on our prayer list, the final way to put it in a uh, a, a different way, uh, so that those names and people are always uh, before us. Amen. Um, so we want to do that. Also, sign ups for our banquet, uh, <coughs> our banquet, and uh, we're trying to do all we can to make it affordable uh, and cost. And believe me, uh, the real cost is um, significantly more. But uh, I'm praying that as we are diligent in our, our commitment to our church anniversary and those things that we will be able to uh, underwrite the majority of the majority of that um, of that cost. All right. So uh, be prayerful according to those things. Let's pray. Father, heaven, thank you for your goodness and your grace. Thank you for this uh, time together. Thank you for your people who are streaming in. Thank you for our congregation. Pray that you would uh, work in our hearts, Lord. We bless you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to sp spend these next few weeks uh, kind of going through um, uh, our vision and strategy uh, as the Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church. You know, what is the, the Lord doing through us and how he is leading uh, uh, me and uh, how these things. And let me just say this. Um, I'm grateful to pastor here. Uh, in a few days, I'll celebrate four years, and it's just gone just like that. And um, and grateful for these four years. Um, but uh, uh, with that, uh, I'm always, um, as a pastor, the I, so scripture I often say to my head, and I may say to a couple others: the servant of the Lord must not strive. Um, either God is everything or he is nothing. And uh, the Jerusalem and the, the, the believers in this church, we all belong to the Lord. It is the stewardship that God has placed in my hand. And, um, and so I have to be patient as a pastor uh, to trust that God <coughs> will bring forth those things that honor and glorify him. Um, and then also we, we have, we have to trust God and we have to be uh, committed to, uh, to each other. And so I want to tag this, uh, tonight, the power belonging again in your description, um, uh, box, both on Facebook and YouTube, there are notes. I got to make sure that I, um, uh, say this again, um, as I go through my presentation, I always forget uh, and so we'll do that. All right. So, yeah, I want to tag tonight the power of belonging. Uh, and you see the, the diagram there. 
and many of you have seen it before. Uh, if you can't access it at this moment, uh, four major pillars. You see a little image of uh, an infant growing into an adult, and uh, and and so we are growing, and uh, those four major pillars are belonging, becoming, doing, and going. Um, I talked about the arrow on last week, and so I won't do with that tonight. Uh, but I want to deal with belonging. Um, our first calling is to God. Our first calling is to God. And uh, there's a lot of words that I could use there, but the word that has etched with me over the years, and I've been doing this for a long time, it's something deeply rooted in my heart, uh, this belonging, to belong, to belong, um, is a powerful word. And uh, you see there, I put a little image, a triangle image, I turned the image triangle upside down. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find a number of ways to communicate this uh, uh, in a perceptual manner. Uh, but what we, we are aiming for belonging, and we are doing that Godwardly. We belong to God and to each other, to other believers, and to be other believers. <coughs> um, this will show back up, and there's integration between becoming, doing, going. You you can't have one without the other. There's there's real deep integration. But we belong to God when we belong to believers. And those two poles are not um, uh, um, separate from each other. They are actually interconnected. Um, to, to, to belong to God is to belong to believers. To belong to believers is to belong to God. And so that that anchors us. And that um, as you see on our pass out, belonging in our church has two components, our relationship with God and with each other. We, we belong to the Lord and we belong to each other. And I know what a lot of people are doing today, doing what they, <clears throat> they want to do. And people have their own definitions. The Bible says this, they have gone and established their own righteousness and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Uh, the Bible says in uh, Romans 9. Um, um, they, they have st established their own righteousness, but we are to stay rooted in the word. You do not come out of this word, uh, without God's love for us, a call for us to love God and a call for us to love other believers. Can't come out of the word, uh, the word with that. And, uh, as a matter of fact, you see that on your pass out. Again, notes are on YouTube and Facebook in the description box for tonight's, uh, tonight's Bible study. Uh, Matthew twenty two thirty seven. 37, Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Amen. So we, we are committed in, 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 in loving God. And then he says, this is the first and greatest commandment. So the greatest commandment priority of our lives is learning to love the God who loves us, learning to love the God who loves us. And uh, you, you really know you're growing in the Lord when the walls of fear begin to tumble. When the walls of fear begin to tumble, you can, you can pray God's will and accept it. When the walls of fear begin to tumble, you can march on, march on by faith. He said, and the second is like it, to love your neighbor as, as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Love the na thy neighbor, love your neighbor as, as yourself. So whatever you would want for yourself, amen. The Bible starts with a position, that, and, and, and human nature reflects that, that we love ourselves. I want to be respected. Um, uh, I, I want to. I want to be treated kindly. Um, what did I? What did I want for myself? I wanted peace. Um, I, I wanted to be treated with dignity. If those are things that I want for myself, uh, then the natural flow as a believer is that I would grant those things to other people. I wouldn't tear down other people. I would be merciful to other people. I would want to be kind. I would want to be forgiven. Come on, talk back to me. 
And uh, you see this, this kind of a snapshot several times throughout Scripture. Some have called it the, the, the golden rule. But verse 40, all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And we're just trying to get a clear idea, a theme or mission statement of what God, God desired of us is to love him and be in a love fellowship with him and, and us to be in a love fellowship with others. And, and in that, a connected relationship, as you go back to that first diagram, uh, uh, belonging, connected uh, both Godward uh, and to others, and interconnected with uh, with each other. Amen. And so our church is committed to our relationship with Jesus. Amen. What does it mean to belong to Jerusalem? We are, we are people who are committed to our relationship with Jesus. Ooh, to just just to say that and to utter that carries a lot of weight, you all, that we are a church that is committed to our relationship with Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. We Now, if, if you just see Sunday morning church, if you just see uh, Wednesday Bible study or, or, or whatever, any other activity that we do, and, and, we, and that, is, that is stripped of its connection of belonging, our relationship with Jesus, we, we're missing it. We are missing it, and, and we are committed uh, to our relationship with each other. We are committed to each other. As a pastor, my my heart aches at at the amount of work it takes, especially coming out of a pandemic. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, just things we go through as time changes. The challenges of us being able to, to be committed to each other. Often as a pastor and some of you all individually because of long-term relationships, because of family, you know things about each other, amen? And, and, and as a pastor, my heart often aches because I know what people are going through. But it also aches because a lot of times, even as believers who are collective, we're dealing with things alone dealing with difficulties alone, dealing with challenges alone, dealing with crisis alone, even things that are not necessarily heavy, a lot of times we are dealing with alone. Uh, but, but, but we were trying to create a culture of, a culture of, of belonging. Again, I need to say this and on YouTube and on Facebook. If you go to the description box, you'll see a link that will pull up the notes uh, for tonight's Bible study, amen? Uh, but our church, we, we are committed. And I'm praying, working through it. On the back of our T-shirts this Sunday is, uh, we, we're wearing our T-shirts, amen? Uh, as a, is a, a, a second mile kind, of, oh, Lord have mercy, uh, a, a Jerusalem uh, a, a logo, and in there, better together. A lot of ways I can say the same thing, better together. But but the word that we 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 I have often used is this word belonging, amen. You you know when you belong, to, amen. When you truly belong. Um, wh when I was in school, I was uh, in my PhD program. Uh, we used to have a seminar every Wednesday, and in the seminar, uh, uh, we had couches and we had coffee and. People would, would bake stuff, and we had, we, had, we had a big map from around the world, and we had speakers, and it was almost like a community. And, 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 and every week we looked forward to seminar. It was like our little break from study and to, to be poured back into. And it was really just, just, just a blessing. It was really just a blessing. Uh, uh, what what the Lord allowed us to experience, but often what I felt was was belonging. Amen. I saw a theme the other day that said that that uh, I grew up in a generation where cousins grew up as brothers and sisters. <laughs> Come on, talk back to me. <laughs> we got whooped together. <laughs> we, we got disciplined together. Uh, w when they came over our house, our toys was their toys, and vice versa. Amen. If if it wasn't enough money, then we then we weren't getting it. So you know when you be you belong. There's a 
a, a, a real experience of, of what it means to what it means to belong. And that's the kind of culture we want to create, create in our church. And, and there are two two kind of uh, word umbrellas that fall under this. And when we think about belonging, a, a, a God word, that's worship. Uh, and belonging to other believers, that is fellowship. Amen. And uh, I just want to uh, uh, give some words today. Part of part of belonging, the foundation is embracing your salvation. As a church, I, I am grateful for people who come into church, and I want to see them. But even more, I want to really pe- people grow into that. The Lord saved me. The Lord chose me. That I've been born again. I, my sins have been forgiven. I've been cleansed. I I, I have been changed. My name has been written above uh, uh, the, the, the devil and hell don't have anything to say against that. And, um, and so it, the importance of worship is em, embracing our, our salvation. Uh, there's a song that, um, I don't know if some of you have heard it, but it, it's often, uh, um, the song says, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord. For making me whole, thank you, Lord, for salvation, for saving me, a great salvation, so rich and free. Amen. But 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 the idea is is that we we are celebrating that we belong to God. We belong to him. There's, I could have littered this with scriptures, but we, when we pray, we say our Father. We have the privilege of praying. The effectual prayers of the righteous avail. I mean, I, mean, I want our church to get excited about what it means to belong, to belong to God. That, that, that you know, they're, they're a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Uh, um, um, and, and uh, 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 heirs with Christ, amen, uh, children of the most high God, um, th- his righteousness, you know, we, <laughs> through, through, through Jesus' blood, we are the righteousness of God, you know, th- just so much that the scripture echoes about, about our relationship, and, and, and so under this worship, and th- but then other things, praise that, Again, these things are interchangeable. Praise to to belong. So, uh, you know, I want to work with our our uh, worship team. Um, but 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 how do how do we get more praise? How how do and, and praise ought to be something that that we we want to do and we want to create. Amen. Psalm one hundred. I grew up here. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing and into his courts with, come on, talk back to me, praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. So we learn what we bless your name, Lord. Nobody like your name. Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Come on, you are our shield and our buckler. You are our defender. You are our protector. You are our watchman. You're the God who never sleeps nor slumbers. You know, we ought to praise his name. All to sing songs uh, uh, it includes a devotional life to belong to God, and so we want to do all we can to encourage that. Every now and then, I'll do pass outs, and maybe need to find a way to be more consistent and walk people through through that. But to have have a devotional life uh, uh, where we're not just on Sunday, but during the week, you got food to eat and ways to connect to the Lord. Uh, 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 worship and giving, worship and giving. You don't have much relationship with anybody if ain't no giving. If ain't no, if no, if there's no giving, there 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 there's not much relationship. And so one of the ways that 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 is demonstrated that I, I belong to the Lord is the way I give. Romans twelve talks about a living sacrifice. Amen. A story is told that the Romans twelve. Uh, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may present your bodies as a living cipher, sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Um, a story is told about a, a Sunday school that, that taught that one day and, and a little child and, and, uh, and, and, and they passed down the offering plate. And, and when it got to her, 
The little girl put the offering plate down on the ground and stepped in the plate. And folks looked around and said, no, you don't do that. She said, well, I learned in Sunday school that God calls me to be a living sacrifice. God, God wants all of me, my, my time, my, my, my talent, my spiritual gifts, my abilities, uh, 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 the things that I can do, uh, and, uh, tithe, uh, your, 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 your income, the ways that you have been blessed to, to, to secure and take care of yourself and to, to be able to be, a, be generous and to be kind and to take care of your families and responsibilities, that, that we would honor God, we would, we would give, amen? And, and uh, um, um, we have a doxology that comes from um, uh, First Chronicles, amen? David at the end, all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. God is you who gives life. It is you who gives breath. It is you, God, who gives strength. It is you, God, who is giving me new mercies today. It is you, God, who is giving me grace and favor in my work situation. I, 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 it, 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 it job could have been closed down. I could have been laid off. Help me somebody to cut backs. But God, you you have kept me going. God, uh, uh, people around me, they're, they're no longer here. Lost family, lost loved ones. But Lord, you let me see another day. You let me see another day and I just want to say thank you God I got these these gifts I know how to encourage people I know how to help I know how to administer I know how to how to weed I know how to cook something I know how to uh, 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 drop things off I know how to clean and, and I want to make myself available and that 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 shows belonging especially when you transform your mindset of who you're doing it for and why you're doing it and, uh, and and really, this could go on the fellowship side, but 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 I wanted to do again the the integration that you can't have God without a believers and believers without God. That even in our corporate experience, it it is it is a, it is an opportunity to show belonging to God. This past Sunday, we took Lord's Supper together, and and a, a sacred moment, Sunday worship. We we come together as as one and to worship the Lord. And, 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 and if we were in a motorcycle club, we'd be doing something else. If we were all on the McDonald's crew, we'd be doing something else. Amen. Thank God for my Jags and Gators fans, Seminoles fans, <laughs> Rattlers fans. I got to call all y'all. <laughs> Hurricane. And, and uh, I forget who Bethune Cookman is, but uh, I got love for everybody. But if we were, if we were, then we, we, we'd have our jerseys on. Amen. We, we'd be tailgating. We, we would do it. But, but, but our collective identity is we belong to the Lord. And so we come and we share and we celebrate and we lift up and we encourage. And it shows that we belong to God. And then there's this fellowship side. And, and I wanted to really hit this, you all. One, a posture for community and otherness. A posture for community. And th this, this really is, is the, the primary area of my work. A lot of people, pastor, make them work. Make them do, no. The primary area is, is behavior change. Behavior change. You see that on your path. Colossians 3.12 and fellowship. Therefore is God's what? Chosen people, holy and dearly loved. Our identity, our belongingness. Our holy, something different. Set aside for God, something different about me. Holy and dearly loved. I am love. He, he gave his son for me. He has given me promises. He has given me protection and anointing and gifts. Clothe yourselves with compassion. We are people of compassion. That's a posture. It's easy to judge. It's easy to get rid of people. But we are people of compassion. When people go through things... We ought to have a, a spirit of sympathy and empathy. Sometimes we've been through it. Sometimes we have to put ourselves in another person's shoes, even if we don't fully understand. We are people of kindness. These are all posture. These are not, these aren't things that you can see, but when they are demonstrated, they are powerful. To be humble, that you ain't got to have your way, that you don't have your own ulterior motives. Amen. That you don't, you don't beat people down. You don't keep, but to be humble to be gentle, 
Be gentle. Be gentle with each other. Amen. In a world where people cut folk down, beat people up, we are, we are to be gentle, to be patient. Oh, you want to see Jerusalem take off? You want to see us to be, take on these, these, these attitudes, the, the posture for community and otherness, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, and do what? Bear with each other. One more, another way to say that, put up with each other. And forgive one another. Let me, let me help you now. You, 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 I don't care. You got, you're part of a family. You work at a job. You in a community association. You're you, you going you to get offended. Somebody's going to do something to, 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 to miss the mark as it relates to you. But in the same way God forgives us, we ought to learn how to forgive Forgive others. If anyone you has a grievance against one another, so so it's a it's about a posture. You know, I know everybody don't agree with me, but that don't mean we got to live in disagreement. I ain't doing nothing. Well, then don't don't do it. But no, but know that know that when you do that, you hurt yourself and you hurt the body. Amen. If the if, if if my baby toe hurt, Amen. My 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 baby toe, help me somebody. Uh, 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 if it's hurting, the whole my whole body gonna know it. Amen. If 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 my hand is stiff, my whole body gonna know it. For some reason, my teeth, the nerves in my teeth have been ultra sensitive, and um, and my whole body know it. So in the same way, when we, when we neglect or fail or disregard to take a posture, you, you, you suffer. It don't, no, nobody wins. And the multi-multi, the church suffers. So we, we, we want to, 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 this belonging is about posture, you all. It's also about developing and starting ministries. Amen. We, 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 the pandemic is kind of, uh, 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 halted and uh, slowed the pace, but I I, I want to I, I want us to have robust fellowship, a robust women's ministry, a robust men's ministry, a robust marriage ministry, robust uh, choir and worship, robust. Uh, Lord have mercy. There's there's so many opportunities, young young adult college reco recovery. From whatever, whatever, whatever dependency and addiction and strongholds you might have, and, and don't be surprised one day when we got celebrate recovery and people are getting set free from bondage. Parents, we, I mean, ministry goes on and on, and I, 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 I pray that God, God energizes us. If people say, I, I, I want to do that, Pastor. Now, I thank God on yesterday. It's Gerald when I first became pastor, and I know it's all. I know it had been in her heart. And she wants to do it and does it from a sense of calling, from a sense of duty. I mean, that, that chicken last night, oh, Lord, them baked beans, oh, Lord. It, if Gerald make it is made with love, help me, somebody. And, and, but, but, but we need people who will, who, will, we, who will minister to each other. And I'm getting into do, but, but, but the foundation of that is that we give places of people to belong. I don't know how we're going to work it out, and I'm uh, uh, praying, and yeah, yeah, I know sometimes it goes slow, amen, but but how do we create opportunities for our children to plug in on Sundays? I know we had Sunday school, but even with worship, amen, you, you've seen us all over the country, uh, 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 not, not necessarily an exodus, a lack of presence of children and youth. We, 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 we cannot be satisfied, amen. And then doing good deeds, we got to pray for other people. Amen. We, we have a prayer list. Um, visit people. Amen. And visiting can happen. You can write a letter. You can send a text. You can make a phone call. If they're in the hospital, they can, and, and you have a relationship or want to develop, you you can do that. Amen. Uh, we got several birthdays this month. Write a write a birthday card. Amen. Your pastor birthday next month. Amen. We are gonna celebrate uh, 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 Mother's Day, Father's Day. 
Learn how to do something nice for somebody. And you don't, you and in those situations, you, you could just do it because you want to be kind. You want to be uh, an encouragement. Uh, learn how to support. Uh, Sherrod is going, I think, into his junior, senior year. But w w can we go to his football game? What are our young people doing? Um, Lord have mercy, Casey Williams uh, is not uh, is is in Gainesville, and uh, but a few weeks ago, uh, uh, Casey got uh, coded for her nursing program and her nursing degrees. And, uh, you know, I, don't, I think because of COVID, you couldn't be there physically, but I was able to live stream in. And, 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 and we got to be able to support each other, rejoice with each other, things that people are experiencing, learning to be considerate, you all. Here, here's another word I want to use. If I want to tie this worship side and this uh, fellowship side together, it's acceptance. It's, it's acceptance. I am accepted. And, and I really need us to hit home for our children and young people. Pray for them. They're going back to school. Many, many, uh, we, we talked about this on Sunday. Some kids, we, we, they'll get a backpack but still ain't got school clothes. Got, got supplies but, but, but will be made fun of the sneakers that they have on. And mama and grandma and daddy and, and, and caretakers have done the best they can with what they have. So many children scared to go to school, don't speak up, don't say nothing. And always ain't just quiet, but sometimes ran into meanness so much. Why would we get to Jerusalem? Help me, somebody. It ought to be a different atmosphere, an atmosphere of acceptance that, that we love you and you can love us and God loves you and you can love God. You don't have to be afraid of God. He's not condemning. He's not judging. But he, he, he so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. He has committed us to ministry of reconciliation. So we say to everybody, be reconciled. Get with God and, 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 and God because God wants to get with you. Listen to this testimony. I, I'm through it. This is my last verse. I didn't already did. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do Acts 2. But listen to Paul's, timid, Paul's message. Here's a trustworthy saying. Paul, Paul is a type of believer. That, that, uh, Paul is the type of believer that, uh, that demonstrates what we mean to belong. Serve, serving a full acceptance. Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners. Here's my message. You, your life messed up. You haven't done everything you're supposed to do. You struggle with things. You're wrestling with things. Christ Jesus came in the world for people who missed the mark. He didn't come for the righteous, but he came for those that need a physician. He came for those that are sick, those that are bound. Help me, somebody. And King James says, of whom I am the chief. This translation, I think this NIV says, of whom I am the worst. If you need somebody, if you need somebody who will be an example, it's me. My, my, my life is a mess, a messed up, jacked up. People gave up on me. Help me, somebody. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, I need an in me crowd. Jerusalem needs an in me crowd. Christianity and the church needs an in me crowd. The worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Paul said, I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm that kind of believer. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for believers that that, that, that demonstrated to us that, that we were accepted. And the only reason they, we were accepted because they were accepted. And that's where you got it. You, not, not acceptance based upon how long you've been at Jerusalem, what office you got, but because you know who you are in Christ Jesus. You know what God has done for you. You know that there's responsibility. Paul saw himself with responsibility to let the world know, to let others know that Jesus saves sinners to the utmost. Jesus saves to the utmost. Jesus says he will pick you up and turn you around. Hallelujah. I don't know if I got the song right. Jesus says. Amen. You get it. But a, but a good theme scripture there. Watch this, and I'm through here. This is, uh, that day about 3,000 took, took Tim. This is uh, out of the message. 
took him at his word, were baptized and were signed up. They committed themselves to the teaching of the apostles. Jesus had committed those apostles to carry the message. John chapter 17, thank you for those who will believe on me through their word. Thank God the gospel has gone around the world. The life together. They committed themselves to the life together. That's what we mean by belonging. Like we are doing life together. The common meal and the prayers, they ate together. I don't know how we're going to do it, and it was, a, it was a goal of mine in 2022, <laughs> but we, we got to get to each other's houses, amen? Amen, and, and the Bible is just like that. Some of y'all, you do well at hosting. You do well at, 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 at having space, and you want people to come together, and, and they prayed together. Every round was in awe, all those wonders and signs done through the apostles, and all the believers lived in a wonderful harmony. And that's what we want to see, a harmony. Just people just, just, man, when you take that posture of humility, take that posture of gentleness and kindness and compassion, man, there, the Lord would let loose such a spirit of harmony in our church, holding everything in common. They sold whatever they own and pooled their resources so that each person's need was met. Oh, Lord, have mercy. An example has been laid for us, Jerusalem. And that's, that's tonight what it means to, to belong. Man, I, I have a loving fellowship with God because of Jesus. I got a loving fellowship with others because of our relationship and our experience with Jesus and our ability to minister and care for each other. And when we come together, somehow or another, God allows us to meet the needs of each other. Father, heaven, thank you for Jerusalem. Thank you for our church. Thank you for churches all around the world. Thank you for uh, even within our own city, lift up churches in our district, Lift up West Union Baptist Church and uh, lift up uh, First New Zion in Fernadina. Lift up uh, First Missionary in Fernadina. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Just, just thinking about uh, uh, new, new First New Corinth and Greater Mount Canaan and uh, the other churches. Thank you for our Union St. James Church family. Thank you for for churches all around the world, in India, South America, and Africa, and uh, in, in Asia, and in, in, even in places that are strange and estranged and difficulty in Russia and in Ukraine. Pray that even in countries like there where there's war tension, that believers would just carry an awesome example of what it means to belong. Lord, help us to have the heart to accept each other, to forgive each other, to be gentle and patient and humble towards each other and compassionate. Lord, we thank you for your word tonight. We bless you in 